He is a former undefeated English champion, a former undefeated WBC World Youth Champion, and the former undefeated British and European Champion. Wearing the black and gold shorts, he weighed in nine stone and eight pounds. And tonight is aiming to extend the current longest unbeaten run in British boxing with a record of 31 wins from 31 contests with 18 of those wins coming by knockout. From Manchester, the WBC number two ranked lightweight, John Murray. He brings with him a record of 31 wins from 32 contests with 23 wins coming by way of knockout. Already he has landed the British and Commonwealth titles at super featherweight and is a former world title challenger. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled nine stone, eight pounds, eight ounces. Ladies and gentlemen, from Dagenham, East London, presenting and introducing the former undefeated British Commonwealth and WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Champion, Kevin The Hammer Mitchell. Okay, fellas, you've both had your instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you. Behave yourselves, do as you're told, and above all, defend yourselves at all times. You got all that? You got all that? God bless you both. In the blue shorts. And the action has started quickly. Kevin Mitchell said, let's see how he reacts when he walks onto... If he falls behind in the early stages, a lot of facial damage could occur because these are solid punches. Murray, who's trained long and hard, sparring with Paul Truscott in preparation for this. And neat footwork from Mitchell. Look, is it's not the Bredis Prescott. Fight to Michael Katsidis on something. By his own admission, he lost sight of uh, where he was as a sportsman, but with the... Now early. But I like the way he's going about it. Here's a Mitchell the Murray. His career is on the line here as a real world-class performer. Not really finding the accuracy as yet. Well, seen perhaps in the whole evening's entertainment before this, and this is really good stuff as the two. That's his kind of fight. That's what he's used to. Mitchell to do. But it's a good opening round that for Kevin Mitchell. He's with what his man's doing so far. Yeah, so it should be a lot of imagination in Mitchell's boxing. But I tell you, when the first round Rise of a 12 rounder is as hard as the one we've just witnessed, that is a real test of character for both boxers. Murray Shut and Shane will be delighted. Fighters were landing really telling blows in the foot. Hard to see. I would have the intensity could continue. You never know. Murray now trying to get on the front foot, trying to carry the fight right into the face of Mitchell. The hardest, the important factor, the, eventually. The, the physically, the stronger guy, and I'm still in the run-up to this, oh, both of them landing simultaneously. Good hard shots, but I've sensed in his career at Super Featherweight, the signs I'm looking for this early, he's starting to hold up close. These are the little signs in this kind of fight. ...that Mitchell would make a fast start and would show boxing skills, but sooner or later, Murray... He's, he can't afford to do that. That's a good right hand. Bang on the chin from Murray. That's his, best, that's his best punch of the fight so far, John Murray. To a fascinating encounter. Another good... Mitchell looked over to his corner, but he winked while he was doing it. The way of looking at it, Bradis Prescott, despite that victory over Amir Khan, may be a more one-dimensional man than John Murray. And look at Murray now. He's He's got Mitchell absolutely where he wants him, in that corner. The volume of punches, he's on defence a little bit tighter than I've seen it in the past, Murray. Tremendous round. For Kevin Mitchell. I think Mitchell. Murray, who believes that he is... He has shown he can do this for 12 rounds. It happened. Well, this is much better for Mitchell than this. Oh, that's a good solid right hand from Murray. Now then, is it payback time for the Manchester man? Those body shots in this kind of fight, those are important. Openly, sort of fairly pleasant to each other, but you always sense that there was that undercurrent because they knew that sooner or later, they were the only two happy to absolutely get into the trenches with Mitchell, that Mitchell landing quality shots in the closing seconds of this third round. Another good round. Mitchell may have an early advantage, but the... Wrestling up close because Mitchell obviously will like to spoil a good shot. Just doing anything to... 
clubbing right hands from... He was just 18, much to the disappointment, I think, of the amateur sports in this country who thought he could have gone on and won major medals as an amateur. And look at that sort of variety. It has been answered. Good oh, shot. Always tight rounds to score, Jim. These are the fights which, or rather the rounds, which can really have a key, a key determining if parts of the judges if it goes as far as that. No, oh, good clean punchings from, from Mitchell, but the, the, the volume from, from Murray and the fact that Murray looks the boss in so many rounds, you're just going to pick what you like. Tremendous. That's a terrific left hand. Tough exchange. The little signs in this kind of fight, who's maybe oh, a lovely punch from Mitchell. Yeah, quality uppercut, wasn't it? But look at what's coming. With the pace and the volume. Lock up the lip, the top lip of Kevin Mitchell. Well, I was worried that he may have been banged up. A oh, good left hook, right hand toll that his punches are taking but look at Murray right in there in that corner this is a round you can confidently give to Murray the work he's put in Mitchell responding well in the later stages here tremendous run in stages like this not to waste any career then well Mitchell coming back although now has to absorb the solid right hand and here comes the big onslaught again solid punches but this is good good round so far from He's timing the punches nicely, Mitchell, but must be demoralising. Murray, the facial damage is getting worse, the swelling, he's too crude at the moment, John Murray. And up in Murray's punches in this round, but it's become... In and out, and lots and lots of movement. And he's been prepared, oh, that's a good shot. Like dead level at the halfway stage, and Mitch... In Murray's punching, is that because he's tiring a little bit or is it because of the movement and he's not pinning Mitchell down? And now let's see the real man. The two landing simultaneously there with real big... Oh, maybe went in with the head on the blind side of the referee. Good uppercut, lovely uppercut from Mitchell. And Murray looks a little bit disorganised, a little bit wobbly. Is Mitchell now going to step in and look to try and take John Murray out? Left hand as well, anxious turns for John Murray, and the, the bell comes, and that was a big... Well, Mitchell was the one landing the quality shots, particularly towards the end of the round, and Murray was in big trouble. Yeah, and these are punches that he was walking through a couple of rounds ago, he's not walking through them now. His own punches don't have the same snap, have no effect. Murray looked as though he was winning, but now it's Mitchell who's the boss. Yeah, um, Mitchell standing strong in the centre of the ring, really looking powerful. Oh, that's a quality shot. Oh, Murray is drained of strength, a body shot to the last thing. I've seen him shaking, you were saying earlier, you've never seen him hurt with a punch. We've seen it now, good left hook from Murray. M Murray is coming, Sometimes makes easy fights hard work. Well, this is a hard fight, and both of them... Oh, it is torrid oh. entertainment, One, and down goes two, Murray. Three, Great shot from Mitchell. Four, five, and Murray six, looks as though he's in real seven, trouble. Has he recovered? Eight. There's blood coming from that right eye. Richie Davis having a very close look, and he allows the action to continue. And Mitchell's trying to finish it. Here and now, it's all over. And Kevin Mitchell has proved his point. A first professional defeat for John Murray. And Kevin Mitchell for him, and in his moment of redemption, atonement for the day, he got it so wrong against Michael Katsidis, here in Liverpool, he's got it absolutely right, and what a terrific finish to take out John Murray. Well, I could see a lot of things happening tonight, I could see Kevin Mitchell winning this, but I did not see it unfolding the way tools to win this fight yeah we knew he had the tools but we wondered did they have the grit the determination and the heart well he showed tonight he has that too it was found lacking against Katsidis we wonder and we have to remember he's come straight back at this level from the Katsidis debacle so tremendous character he showed I said at the end of the first round this kind of fight is a real test of a fighter's character well they both showed tremendous character but Kevin Mitchell showed character I didn't think he was capable of I thought it was phenomenal tonight that was terrific, and right across the east end of London, I'm sure there will be celebrations. A few of the fans lost heart a little bit with Kevin Mitchell. Well, now, watching this, taking out an undefeated, proud fighter, they can believe again. Yeah, well, onwards and upwards now. Now we can go into a world title fight with confidence that he can mix it. I mean, he was facing an undefeated man here, a real true champion in his own right.
Ladies and gentlemen, at 1 minute 46 seconds of round 8, your referee Richie Davies has stopped the contest. He deemed that John Murray was in no position to continue. The winner in the red corner from Dagenham, East London. And the new WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Champion, Kevin Mitchell.